If you've clicked on this video, you've probably already become convinced that spaced repetition is the most effective study tactic to remember anything for the long term. And you probably already also know that spaced repetition optimizes your learning time by determining how frequently to repeat each concept based on your confidence in that concept. So I don't have to convince you of why spaced repetition is such a game changer. Today, I wanna geek out on the different types of spaced repetition algorithms so you can determine which one is right for you. I'm Andrew with Brainscape, a mobile flashcards platform that is built with spaced repetition at our core. We've been inspired by a lot of great versions of spaced repetition over the decades, from software to manual study methods to even the theoretical ideals. And we've created our own version of spaced repetition that ends up working a little bit differently. To help explain how Brainscape's algorithm is different, I'm going to start by reviewing the classical version of spaced repetition that has been famously used by Supermemo and Anki. I call these absolute SRS algorithms. By absolute, I mean that the algorithm is precise enough to determine the exact date and time that you should review each flashcard based on not just your confidence rating, Q, but also the number of times you've previously seen the card, N, and on the card's easiness factor, EF, that can be specified by the content's creator. Giving such a precise repetition date and time can be very powerful for users who have the discipline to study at specified times every day over a long period. It's one reason why Anki is so popular with medical students and why Supermemo was so big for law students in the 80s. Um, in Anki, you can see easily at a glance how many cards are due to be repeated today across all of your decks, and you can set all kinds of configurations on things like daily card goals uh, or the baseline intervals of time that you want uh, each confidence rating to, to represent. Some of the trade-offs with this method can happen when life gets in the way and you can't study the right amount of time on the exact days that Anki had scheduled. Uh, for example, if you know you're going to miss a few days and you want to get some extra review done ahead of time, Anki will basically tell you that you should return later since there are no cards to review today. Um, that theoretically is correct guidance if you want the absolute perfect space repetition intervals. But life sometimes is a little bit different and if you want to override the system to um, allow you when you have bigger blocks of time to just crush it, um, you have to then, you know, reconfigure your Anki options, maybe download and install some add-ons uh, by other developers that'll allow you to study in different ways. Uh, so for these reasons uh, and others, Brainscape was inspired over a decade ago to create a simpler type of SRS algorithm that gives us the flexibility to produce other types of flashcards and statistics. Uh, and we call this a relative SRS algorithm because instead of using extra parameters to precisely determine an absolute repetition date, Brainscape just takes your confidence rating on a scale of one to five and essentially moves the flashcard toward the bottom of the pile, right? The threes, you know, the three pile. Um, at which point we start repeating uh, among all the piles in uh, intervals that are based on, uh, you know, how well you, you knew the content as you continue upgrading your own confidence ratings. Uh, so what this means is as you're close to mastering a, a Brainscape deck, um, even if it says you don't need to study for a month, Brainscape will let you keep studying it because maybe you have a test coming up tomorrow, right? There's life. Uh, and we can still be repeating those cards in a relative frequency uh, based on still your confidence rating in each one. It's still spaced repetition uh, and you're still attacking your weaknesses. Um, you just have a little bit more flexibility um, in, uh, in your um, study patterns. Um, and if you do study so much in Brainscape that you find yourself you know, seeing too many high confidence cards repeating that you probably shouldn't see for a long time, you could easily just add newer decks into your study mix when you're ready, right? Check the box, make the sliders. So you're constantly pushing the boundaries with more content added to, to what you want to be responsible for, even as the, the old stuff is still uh, occasionally popping up. Uh, in fact, the ability to study a progressive mix of many decks is one of the Brainscape features that is enabled by our relative algorithm. 
In Brainscape, you can configure how much you want to see each subject across your library, including uh, plenty of decks or subjects you might not have even studied yet. So if you've already gotten through a deck and rated all the cards with high confidence, Brainscape doesn't stop you and say, sorry, no more cards to review today. Instead, our algorithm starts pulling cards from other decks or suggesting other learning materials so you can keep pushing your own knowledge boundaries. Uh, this helps you avoid having to even think about, hmm, what am I gonna study today? Like, what, what deck am I gonna choose? Because that's that's the schlep mentally, right? Uh, instead, you know, Brainscape lets you kind of progressively improve just by pushing one button. You set your configurations and then you don't have to think about uh, what should I study now. Um, another uh, relative SRS algorithm feature is that we can allow you to estimate more accurately how much time you have left uh, to study. Um, with an absolute algorithm like Anki, your main option would just be study the exact allotted amount of time every day and then you know, you'll eventually reach your goal so you know the time ahead. Uh, but if Brainscape says you've got 12 hours and 17 minutes left, you can allocate that however you want, right? Maybe your Sunday afternoon is wide open for you know, an eight hour marathon. Uh, now, this is of course assuming you're honest with your confidence ratings and you don't just rate everything a five to, to get it over with, right? You gotta study right. And yes, of course, you'd be better off if you've spaced out way longer over time, right? Don't cram all day on Sunday. But that's life sometimes. And, and you know, the flexibility of a rest, uh, relative SRS algorithm um, just allows you to allocate those big blocks of studying when, when you have. And then of course, in those two minute uh, times that you have, you know, throughout the day that hopefully you're, you're knocking some, some flashcards out. Um, sometimes also you might have a, a confidence level of one card that you want to upgrade all the way to a four uh, because you had learning experiences outside of Brainscape that helped you know it better. Um, the relative algorithm allows you to do that without um, just saying, no, you know, because, you know, you, you only rated it one, seen it one time, we have to wait, um, you know, too much longer or, or show it again, you know, too soon. You want to be able to continually optimize your studies in a pace that, that makes sense for you. Now, notice in this whole discussion, I haven't used the word better when comparing SRS algorithms because there's a role for both types. Uh, if you're the kind of learner who can stick to a very precise daily study schedule, or maybe if you're someone with a very do-it-yourself uh, hacker mindset, you know, you, you don't mind downloading software or configuring plugins, then an absolute SRS algorithm like Anki, uh, an open source tool, can be a very powerful tool. Um, if you're looking for a simpler user experience with a bit more flexibility in how you study and a, a relative SRS algorithm like Brainscape uh, might make more sense for you. Or hell, you could even abandon all software and just use manual spaced repetition with paper flashcards and that is still better than 99% of passive study methods. Spaced repetition in general is already a huge leg up whatever method you're using. But I can already tell that by watching this video, you are someone who really cares about optimizing your studying, which, which means you already have a leg up and you already have what it takes to rise to your challenge.